is going on guys? This is EJP3 Games and welcome back to Season 5 of the PBL. This is the Professional Battlers League, our Wi-Fi Draft Battle League. If you guys missed me in the last season, go check out the playlist down below. This is the official start of Season 5 and we are facing off against Alex GTE and his Montreal Abomasnows. So I didn't really do a draft recap video. Um, I was gone when we did the draft, so I didn't really have time to do it. So we're just going to kind of roll right on into things. Um, I'm going to go over what I'm bringing this week and what I think he's going to bring. Uh, if he doesn't bring this, that's all right. Um, we'll kind of manage. He actually drafted, I think, either 11. How many did he draft? I think he drafted like 12 or he drafted quite a few Pokemon. So he's got a pretty versatile team. Uh, this is just what I think he's going to bring. Um, so I definitely think he's going to bring Mega Beedrill. It is fast and it hits hard. Celesteela, of course, is a giant wall. Needle King can cause some damage. Um, I think he's going to bring Kingdra just for the fact that I think he knows I'm going to bring Infernape for Mega Beedrill. And then uh, Raichu to kind of combat uh, my Primarina a little bit. And then, of course, Mimikyu because, you know, if you have Mimikyu, why wouldn't you bring Mimikyu? But I'm bringing Needle Queen, Infernape. Hydreigon is making its return. We have Primarina, I have Mega Mawile, and I have Galvantula. So the other Pokemon I have on my team, I've got Starmie, I have Chansey, I also have Lilligant. What else do I have? I have two more Pokemon. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll use a lot of uh, various Pokemon in this league. And as always, suggestions are always appreciated. Um, whenever it comes to battling, I'm still pretty new. This is only my second season. I meant to practice some of the offseason. I didn't get it done, but that's all right. But we're going to go ahead and get hooked up with Alex, and we will be right back. All right, so we are back. We are connected with Alex, and I'm going to go ahead and get my team set up, and then we are going to see what he is bringing, and we'll get the layout rearranged. I'm kind of dealing with the weird camera angle. i got the camera up here in the corner. Um, trying to get used to that. So if, if you guys see me just looking all over the place that would be why all right let's see we want all right so I have Swellow and Nihilego are my other two that I was blanking on so we're taking Nita Queen um, Galvantula I think I'm gonna lead I think I'm gonna lead off with Galvantula have Mega Mawile. Uh, I want to use this to drag in. We're taking Pre Marina and we are taking Infernape. So that should be. Alright, that should be it for my team. Alright, let's get it popping. First battle of the PBL. I am stoked. Uh, I definitely want to say big shout out to Alex for him cooperating with me. I was gone and I had to move this weekend as you guys can tell by the different layout. I had a lot of stuff going on uh, but I just want to give a big shout out to all the guys in the PBL for just being patient with me and all that so and make sure you guys go check out all the links down in the description below. I'll have links to Alex's channel as well as his Twitter. Go show him some love and support. He is a great battler himself. All right, so he's bringing Mimikyu, he's bringing Incineroar, Kingdra, Celesteela, he's bringing Grumpig. All right, so he's not bringing, he's not bringing Needle King. So that's all right, we'll change that. He's bringing Grumpig. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Hope if I'm a little bit more organized. All right, so there's Grumpig. We'll stretch him on the layout, little fat boy. And he's not bringing Raichu, he's bringing Incineroar, which is his mascot, so I should have guessed. I unfortunately didn't get to draft mine. Um, as you guys can see from last season of the PBL, uh, we had... Um, I had Metagross. So, and Metagross put in the finest amount of work. I wanted to draft it, but I got Hydreigon back. So, um, I'm definitely going 
to be putting in some fine work with him. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, message Alex, tell him good luck. And let's get this thing started. Let's see what he is going to lead out with. I am leading with Galvantula. We're going to try to get up that sticky web set up. All right. So he's got Miss Piggy. He's coming out with Grumpig. It's a shiny Grumpig. I thought about making all my Pokemon shiny, but uh, I elected not to. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and set up the sticky web. Peter Parker here or Galvantula, because you know Spider-Man. Why not? He's going to use Power Gym, which is ground type move. It's going to be super effective, and it knocks us out. We got the sticky web off, so that's all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go out to Hydreigon. And we are going to hit it with a Dark Pulse. So I feel like that's my best option. He's probably going to switch out to uh, either Incineroar or Celesteela. Actually, he doesn't switch out at all. He's just going to take that Dark Pulse. Ooh, he's got Focus Blast. I did not see that coming. That would be why. Yikes. All right, we are not in a good spot right now. All right, so he's got Focus Blast and Power Gym. So I need to be careful with what I do next. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out to Gemini here. Marina. So he's got. I feel like my best bet is I'm just gonna go for a moon blast. Now he'll probably switch out here, because otherwise he's just gonna lose his Grump Pig. And there's no sense in. Oh, he's using Psy Shock. That's fine. We should eat that up. That moon blast should take it out. That should finish the job. All right, we got one Pokemon down, so uh, <laughs> doing better than uh, I did all the last season. I got swept a few times. It was not good. But yeah, also make sure you guys are on the lookout for a new solo series of Let's Play. Um, like I said, I'm back home. I can play everything now, um, so I'm in pretty good shape. Mimikyu. Mimikyu, Mimikyu. I don't know what I want to do here. I feel like my best option is probably to go out to Mawile. Um, actually, I'm just I'm going to get an Aqua Jet off. And break that disguise. And see what... Okay, he's using Swords Dance. Alright, I see you. He's trying to set up a sweep, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to hit it with a uh, another Aqua Jet. See, I don't know. Do we outspeed? Let me, let me look this up. Um, let me look this up on my phone real quick. That's what I'm trying to figure out. No... All right, Mimikyu. This is where uh, this is where I struggle just knowing like base stats and stuff like that. So, all right, Primarina. I think we should out. Oh no, we definitely do not outspeed. So. I'm either going to have to switch out or go for an Aqua Jet. And I feel like I need to get some damage off, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for an Aqua Jet. Unless he was going to use a second Swords Dance, or he uses Shadow Sneak. So he out first moved me. Alright. But now I can come in with Mega Mawile here. And we're going to get the Intimidate, cut down his attack, which is definitely helpful. And we are going to Mega Evolve, and what we want to do 
is I'm just going to go ahead and go for the play rough. Figured he was going to withdraw. He's probably going to send out in Cineroar. Oh, it's Celestila. Fat Tat. It's an interesting nickname. Uh, I think Mawile is my only Pokemon that doesn't have a nickname because I simply could not think of one. Alright, so got Mega Walmile. Protected the fairy type move. Still does a decent amount. Um, see, I don't know if Celesteel is going to really, really have anything. I'm just going to go ahead and switch out to Beyonce here. Just to kind of uh, scout it out, see what see what he's going to do next. Oh, he's going to go for the... I believe this... He has a Fire Yum Z, so this is going to be a Fire-type attack. Inferno Overdrive, okay. See, so, yeah, that's what I figured, so... A good swap out. It wastes his E-move. So hopefully, Needle Queen should be able to eat that. Barely. Um, that's alright, though. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, should I go for Stealth Rock or go for Ice Beam? I feel like Stealth Rock is going to help. But I also feel like I need to get off some kind of damage. I'm just going to go ahead and go for an Ice Beam. It's not super effective, but it should knock it down to where another play rough should kill it. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll lose Beyonce. And I think that drops me down to two Pokemon left now. He's got Beast Boost. Um, we're definitely going to outspeed, so... I'm pretty sure Celesteel is pretty slow. So I'm just going to go, let's see, if I go for a Flare Blitz, he could switch out to Kingdra. Which he would probably switch out to Kingdra. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for... Um, uh, da -da -da -da. I'm going to go for the Close Combat. Unless he sends out Grape Soda, which is going to be... Alright, so close combat was a good choice. Let's do that or the stone edge. So close combat I'll definitely do it does half. Now the thing is, do we outspeed Kingdra? Alright. Um I just like naturally don't know what Pokemon are faster than the others. Alright, speedy. I'm pretty sure we do, because Infernape is pretty fast. So I'm... I don't know if another... Because I am... Defense, special defense. So close combat should... Close combat should kill it. But he could also switch out to Mimikyu. So, close combat, 120... Stone Edge is 100. I could go for a U-turn and get out back to Mega Mawile. Actually, I had the Choice Scarf. Never mind. I lied, so I'm going for Close Combat again. Which this should kill. So. But we are down two, so I do need to swap out. That's the only thing about Choice Scarfing. Infernape. So he. Alright, he's got Mimikyu back out. I don't know if he knows I'm choice scarfed. Um, but like I have I have to switch out. I don't really have a choice. So I gotta go back out to uh Mega Mawile here. Blah, 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 Mega Mawile here. I don't know what he was gonna do. Shadow Sneak. It's fine. Doesn't do very much. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Let's see, I go for the. Uh, 
See what I'm saying? It's that did 35 damage. I'm debating on whether I want to do a swords dance. And try to get that off, or if that's going to be cutting it way too close. Because if he gets a high roll, then I might not live. So I'm just going to go for a play rough. I'm kind of running out of options. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, I could have went for the swords dance. But at least I can go for another play rough after this. So that gets rid of his Mimikyu. And now B drill. I really should have brought Chansey with me so I could have sent out some wishes and stuff like that. Uh, okay. I feel like it's going to be my best interest to go ahead and like sack. Mm. I'll go for a sucker punch and see what happens. So he's going to mega evolve. I'm going to try to at least get some kind of damage done to him. Alright, so Sucker Punch worked. Oh! Oh! Come on. Now here's the thing. Is I'm going to be locked into whatever, so I'm going to have to go for Stone Edge. Just because... It's super effective against this. It's going to be super effective against Incineroar. And that's going to give me my best option. I don't know if we outspeed. And if it uses Drill Run. We do outspeed. So we hit the Stone Edge. I will take that. So we're keeping it close here. We're keeping it close. But I'm down to my last Pokemon. And I believe he has Incineroar and Grumpig left. If I believe so. Sounds right. So Stone Edge should be neutral here. And we're going to outspeed. That doesn't quite kill. Ooh, Air Slash. Oh, no. That's not okay. Oh, man. Forgot Celestia was a flying type for a second. I was like, wow. All right. So we're going to take the first week of the season with a big ol' L. We came close, though. Um, I should have kind of rethought. I didn't need to bring both Galvantula and Needle Queen, and I got in some weird spots. I maybe need to look over my items and my move sets again. Uh, I lucked out bad with Grumpig having Focus Blast and stuff like that. Um, so that that really didn't help me out. But other than that, make sure you guys go check out Alex. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel. Go check his Twitter channel. Twitter channel, Twitter page, whatever things you do. Check out his MySpace, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but that's going to do it for me. Like I said, make sure you leave some good criticism down in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up too if you enjoyed this video. And be on the lookout next week for week two. As always, this is EJP3Games, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.